On the Ikadan unit, if we're going to use auto adaption, we need to tell it where to take the temperature from. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I click on the controller, hit the three lines at the top, option there, settings, bottom option there, room sensors, and we're going to go into zone one program. I've only got one zone in this particular application. Yeah, it's up there, click, and this is where we tell it what to look for. So we quite often see set to TH1 as a default. We don't tend to use those in the UK, but this is what we're talking about here, a separate thermistor that we've run somewhere through into the corridor space or something like that as a common point of reference for the actual room temperature. Second option on there, main RC. So it's going to use the actual controller itself. So we'd have to take that off the front of the cylinder if it's like this and put it somewhere sensible. The other one is RC, remote control. Now we've got options of RC1, RC2, depending on how many of these we've got. But this way we can actually use this to measure the actual room temperature. So we can put this somewhere sensible, which tends to be the preferred option in the UK. When you're happy with how you set it all up, press the back button to come out all the way to the beginning again. And it shows you in the bottom left hand corner what that temperature reading currently is.